Hey guys, so if you are a new mom like me and you need a simple recipe, um, this is a really, really simple one that is quick and easy and my husband absolutely loves it. And my husband's very, very picky. So this doesn't have a lot of seasonings in it. It's not spicy at all, but obviously you can add spices to it if you'd like. Um, all right, so th these are the ingredients. Five ingredients, ground beef, macaroni, asparagus, Monterey Jack cheese and white cheddar. And then you have, I, I always like to add a little bit more vegetables. So here's a vegetable medley as well that I like to add and some pink salt to season the meat. Um, super duper duper simple. You could do this while baby is waiting patiently right there. Super happy. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's go ahead and go do it. So the first step would be to start boiling the pasta. All right, so I do about a cup and a half of macaroni, and I add oil, salt, and water, and put that to a boil. All right, so next step is you're just going to brown this ground beef, and you're going to season it with salt and minced garlic. So you just wanna brown it and get it all cooked up. So if you're using fresh vegetables, while those are cooking, your meat's cooking and your pasta's boiling, you're going to wash your vegetables and then get them chopped up and cut. Uh, if you're using frozen vegetables, you can skip this step, uh, but you will still need the strainer for your pasta and for your meat. All right, so after you have cut up all your vegetables, or if you're using frozen vegetables, I just put it in here for now, I'll also start grating your cheese. So that is your white cheddar and your Monterey. Um, I also throw in some Parmesan cheese, so I had some in there. But um, if you want to buy them already pre-shredded, that's fine. But you'll start shredding your cheese while your meat's cooking and your pasta's cooking. So I didn't mention this before, but you want to do about four ounces of each or a half a block of... Um, of the cheese. I didn't say that in the previous video, but or the previous I didn't say that but you want to do about four ounces per per block and then um, and then you can use Like about four ounces or a little bit less of the other cheese now I grate it so that it's easier to melt if it's not grated It's really difficult to melt. I have some blocks in here like little small slices only because I couldn't grate all the way down to the nub all right, so right after this is all cooked and browned, you're gonna put this in your colander. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave the oils in there only because you want to saute the, I'm sorry, you wanna saute the vegetables, your frozen vegetables. So you're gonna dump your frozen veggies in there and you're gonna let those kind of saute for a bit, um, for a bit. All right, so while those are sauteing, you're going to strain your pasta, but you're gonna save some of your pasta uh, liquid that it was boiling into so that you can steam the veggies. So we're gonna strain these into your meat, like that, okay? All right, so you're gonna add that leftover water from your pasta in there so that that can steam and start cooking up. If you wanna add more water, to the pot you can. Um, let me just add a little bit more just so that that can all steam up and the vegetables can get cooked up. All right, so now you wanna add your meat and your macaroni in and you're going to mix this around and then start folding in the cheese that you just grated. So there you have it, there's your dish. Um, I already folded in all the cheese. As you see, there's a lot of liquid still left in there. Um, I top it with some oregano or Italian seasoning, salt, and a little bit of and some Parmesan cheese on top. And then I just set this to the side and let it cool down if your husband's not going to be home in time uh, to get it. I just put it on low. and um, Or you could put it in a pot and bake it so that this all gets real cheesy and crusty on top. But um, this is a great dish. She absolutely loves it. So I thought I would share and hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and if you try it, leave a comment below to tell me how you like it. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye.